previously in Breaking Point. Aiden, please tell us, how does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your very first race? I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes. And tell me about Casper Ackerman. How is that relationship coming along? It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? He tried to stop them from signing you. Didn't want to play babysitter. We all feel sorry for you, mate. You never stood a chance with him. I had a call this morning from Christian Horner. You're being watched. You know what his problem is, don't you? Thinks you're getting too old. You want respect, you give respect. That's how it works. How about you give me a little respect? How about you earn it first? I'm done. You what? I'm retiring. Why didn't it work out between you two? He's on more money than me. What? He didn't want me on the team. Didn't I? And you thought I was past my best. So none of this is true? There's always gossip in the paddock. And ever since he's arrived, it's been one man at the center of it all. I want us to push for fourth. I want us to beat Butler. And I want that seat to go to you. So Alfa Romeo potentially on track to really upset Alfa Tauri here. Butler's closing in on Ackerman. Down the inside he goes, and they hit each other. Butler into the barrier, and that looks to be the end of the race for him. The Dutchman looks to be continuing at. It's great to see him still in this fight, Crofty. Got the third eight. What about Casper? We let Aiden pass. Let Aiden pass. We did it. We did it. Have you seen the crash yet? Butler's OK? Bruised ego, perhaps. <laughs> like bringing a brand new team to the F1 grid? You know, the first time you see a car, your car, with your branding, your name on it, in an official race, alongside Ferrari, McLaren, Mercedes, that's what it's all about. You make it sound like a dream come true. If only. When did you first get a sense of what was in store for Connor Sport? 2022 season, <clears throat> straight out of the box. The drivers were always going to clash. That was a calculated risk. But the car, mm, the car, the car had problems. We're midway through the Miami Grand Prix. It's been a cracking race so far, and it's all up for grabs. Absolutely, Crofty. Some fantastic driving here today. Especially, I have to say, from Aidan Jackson. I don't think I've ever seen the Connorsport car being put through its paces quite like this. This is a team, Connorsport, that have got a lot to prove this season, but Jackson might just be the man to do it. OK, Aidan, nice job so far. Let's try and bring that gap down to the car ahead if you can. Copy that. So this is F1 2023 breaking point. The goal here is to finish the race and we're currently 14th, which shouldn't be too bad. I actually never played um, first breaking point in F1 22. Ooh. This feels a lot more different to 22 to be honest. There's a lot more braking lock and stuff, which is quite mad, actually. It's, it's quite hard to... Uh, every time I brake, my car's just locking up. This is strange. I need to get used to these controls. But yeah. You should overtake button more. It's time to utilize some of this energy. This Come is on. F1 2023 braking point. I never played uh, number ones. Oh, he's trying to block me off here. What are you doing? But when I brake, I feel like the wheels are locking up. So it's either I'm going to have to go check in the settings or that's just how the game is now. Which, if that's how the game is, makes everything very interesting. But from the cinematics we saw at the start, uh, it's quite clear that we had some sort of rivalry in Breaking Point 1. And, I mean, it shows you a little glimpse of how the politics could be in the actual uh, Formula 1 as a whole. I mean, how that uh, rival 
racer sort of manipulated his way into getting the two teammates to hate each other, you know? Which is very interesting. Yeah, it feels very strange. Every time I brake, my car's tugging to the right, which is mad to be fair. I'm just find Mick Schumacher here. And Alonso, looks like they're battling. I'm not sure I'll be able to get past these, to be honest. I mean, I've got DRS. Try and pass on the left. Oh, the turn coming up. I better be safe. Better play it safe. I've got the damage on simulation. So if anything does happen, <laughs> it's a definite pit stop. Definite pit stop. Any small clip of the wing could be... Oh, could be vital. That is horrible turn. It's not my wheels are locking up. I think it might be in the settings. We'll have a look after the race. But we'll overtake uh, Mick Schumacher here. Hopefully catch up to Alonso. The DRS as well. Yeah, we already have. We're going to take him on the right. Slow down. Okay, we've already managed to pass Schumacher and Alonso, which is impressive, but I think they might take me here because of this braking. I'm not sure. I think it's my front uh, wheels that are locking up. But I always enjoy these sort of game modes. When it comes to uh, the old FIFAs, um, I can't remember what exactly it was called, but you were playing a story um, as, you know, a footballer getting into the pros and then eventually you get to play for England, which, you know, was really immersive. Really cool. It's a really cool thing to, to add into these sort of games. And I feel like, you know, these sport games sort of need that, you know? Especially for new fans. I didn't watch F1 before playing the games. Um, I used to play the games as a kid, but I never was really into F1 as a sport. Um, but ever since playing the game, and especially with these with these story modes uh, like Breaking Point, it sort of puts you in the shoes of these professional races, you know, these professional footballers like in FIFA. And it's really interesting um, because, you know, the average person will never have a life like theirs. Oh, that was a terrible, terrible corner. I think I might have... Uh, my handbrake <laughs> as my brake button in the controllers sorry in the, in the controls which will need to be looked at because it's sort of stopping me we're just going to have to play with it we're just going to have to try and um, see what we can do but I looked in the settings and I can't see anything that's remapped or binded with the brake button which means when we brake it's just the wheels are locking up So we have to go really easy on the on the corners there. I mean, it could be the car as well. But this is my first time playing F123. And from what I'm playing, what, what it feels like now, it's pretty cool. Let's see if we can take Norris here. Try and take him on the inside. Oh, he's closed us off. You should be able to catch him. Oh, I don't want to go too far off. I don't want to get any... Uh... Oh! <laughs> we're just in. See, we're braking. I don't think it's smart to brake when we're turning then. I think maybe that's a, ch uh, a change with the with the game. Not the actual controllers. Or the controls. We've got DRS now on Norris. We're going to try and be aggressive here with Norris. Use our overtake. Oh, we slightly clipped him, but we got no damage. Only a little love tap. We're sort of taking those corners better. But I think we're too aggressive. I think what it is, we're, we're too aggressive on the braking. I think we need to be easier on the braking. Little taps, you know. It's still stopping me from turning when I'm braking, but... We'll see. Oh, we're taking Bottas here. See you later, my friend. See ya. Who won? We're gone. Gonna use our DRS as well. Try and catch up to... Uh, who we're behind? I don't know, we're Jackson, aren't we? Ocon. And the mad thing is, it's more immersive for me because my actual name's Aiden. So when Aiden Jackson gets called, <laughs> I feel like it's me, which is pretty cool. You're in the top 10 now. Keep it up. Which is where... I mean, for the... I think for the difficulty we're playing... I'm not sure what difficulty we're playing, to be honest. We might need to have a look at the difficulty settings. I don't want it to be too easy. I want it to be quite challenging. But I definitely need to have a look at this um, this, this bright thing. 
protecting these S's fucking absolutely terribly. Yeah, we've come off the track now. This is not good for us at all. Bottas is going to catch up with us. We've given Ocon a three second lead on us. Holy. And that's just five laps of fuel remaining. Terrible turns from us there. We're clipping the sides here. We need to be very careful. I'm still getting used to the controls, so if I do crash, it is what it is. But the mission in this is to finish the race, so I'm not sure what position they want us to finish. Um, obviously, the, the higher the better. Let's try and use, burn some of our overtake here. I'm absolutely loving the hood, though. like a constant problem for Connor Sport. It must be devastating for the drivers. Confirmation as the car comes to a halt, the Connor Sport's Aidan Jackson won't be seeing the chequered flag today. But it looks like his teammate will. Jackson's DNF puts Devon Butler in a position where he might just be able to secure some points for Connor Sport. Aidan's out. Yep, engine problem, I'm afraid. <laughs> Good job you got me. All right, Devon, don't push it too hard. We cannot risk losing both cars here. It's in the bag, mate. All okay, Aiden? Yeah, uh, how's Devon doing? Yeah, he's doing all right, mate. He looks like he's going to bring him some points for the team. Good for him. That is just... Yeah, that is, that is crazy. Car malfunction, four laps to go, and we've been absolutely shafted. That's that's insane. I'm pretty sure Devon Butler is the guy who uh, in number one, the uh, breaking point one. That was our rival. That was the one who was playing us against uh, our older teammate, which is insane, really. Um, that's crazy. Very very good twist. Let's see what happens. If it's not one thing, then it's another. Did you not see what happened out there today? Aiden, I agree with you 100%. We are doing everything we can. I know the car is not perfect, but Andreo. It's every race. Do you know how I look losing easy points like this? No, no. <laughs> Sounds like there's a right show going on in here. What am I missing? Not now, Devon. Aiden and I were just discussing issues with the car. Again? I thought that was all in hand. I, I had no problems today. Smooth. You know what they say? A shoddy workman always blames his tools. <laughs> mate, 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 mate. You can look at my setup data any time you want. I've told you that. It might help. And I've told you before. It's not a setup issue. The problem is... Jackson, that was the problem with the 2022 season. Ask anyone. I mean, at the end of 21, everyone thought Aiden was going to be signed by one of the big three. But uh, I guess they couldn't reach an agreement, so we both signed for Connor Sport. And do you think that affected Aiden? <laughs> That's no secret. Now, for that 22 season, Jackson was a nightmare. So he's just a massive knobhead, isn't he? Really? Uh, I don't think anyone likes him. <laughs> I think the whole point of the story is to not like him, you know? So... But this is the, uh, I think the UI in this game is incredible too, man. I think it, it, it's it's a lot more fresher than the, the, the last, what was that? We got a phone call coming in, let's accept it. Aiden, hey, hey, I wanted to give you a heads up. Now look, the crew has shared the latest telemetry data with us. Fine, um, but I, I don't think it will tell me anything I don't already know. Just humor me, okay? I'd like you to go through it, let me know if anything jumps out. I'm keen to iron out these problems as quickly as possible for you. Sure thing. Thanks, Andrea. 
No thanks needed. I've got your back, Aiden. Remember what I said when you joined the team. I won't let you down. Akamon wouldn't let me hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Casper. Y you know he told me the same, right? It's just... It's just tricky, what with the car and... Devin poking his nose in any chance he gets. There is a lot going on, for sure, but we're a team. We'll get there. I'll have a word with the Devon. Tell him to give you some space, both on and off the track, okay? <laughs> yeah, all right. Good luck with that. Okay. So, I'm guessing it's going to be in our email then, maybe. Team, I appreciate how hard everyone is working, and we are getting so much right. I also understand how infuriating it can be for everyone when a problem persists and simply won't go away. This is like one of those snobby emails at work. You know when you've had a, a chat with your boss, and then the boss has to address everyone, but clearly you know it's for you. <laughs> it's, rest assured, both myself and the management team are acutely aware of the continuing issues with the car, and will be enacting a plan to address them as, uh, all as quickly as possible. Getting the car up to optimal performance and alleviating everyone's stress levels in the process is our top priority. I'll be in touch with each department separately so we can see... Oh, sorry. So we can... Hold up. He's... I'm, I, I thought I was having a moment there, but his, his email's wrong. I'll be in touch with each department separately so we can, so we can formulate a unified strategy. I mean, you know, that's mad. Maybe Was that the F1 team doing this? Who, who The dev developers who made this? Or was this like oh, a human error thing to put in? You know what I mean? That's crazy. I thought it was me, but no. He said it twice. Uh, thank you again for all your patience and hard work, Andreo. Okay. And this is off David off Butler. To all at Connor Sport, I appreciate this is a group message, but believe me when I say I'm talking to each talking to you each individually. Thank you. I couldn't be proud of what we've all achieved so far. To come from nothing and build such a strong and passionate foundation is nothing short of remarkable. Now let's get some serious points and show the world what we're capable of. My deepest grat gratitude to all D. Okay. So with the news then, I wonder if this is... Ah, here we go. Uphill struggles at Connor Sport. So this is actually telling us what happened uh, in the last race. Which is pretty cool. From rivals to comrades. Aiden Jackson and Devin Butler, that's it. Constantly bumping wheels both on and off the track. See, this is all the... This, this is when I, when I was talking about like, the inside politics. This puts you in a position of if you were an F1 driver... This is how it could possibly be, which is really cool. If anyone's ever watched, I need to start watching the uh, the Netflix uh, Drive to Survive. I think I've watched a few episodes of season one, but I can't really get into it to be honest. Um, I need to I need to really have a look at it and and, and rewatch it because my brother's my brother's just into it. I think he's he's up to date. My brother's a massive F one fan, so we've got our own Twitter as well. I feel sorry for Aiden Jackson driving like a complete pro, but that car, mate, even they're saying it's the car. I feel like Jackson's, uh, okay, we got a Twitter trial, boys. Box, box, box. I feel like Jackson should probably be in the, uh, put the car in reverse. It'll be quicker. Nice, man. Devin Butler clearly getting preferential trees. I don't even know what that means. You know what? I'm going to put the, uh, the definition of that because I ain't got a clue. I ain't smart, okay? That's a massive word. Just stick to fucking basic words, please. Jesus. Okay. See, this is cool because, especially in the uh, the FIFA story, they had the same sort of social thing added, where the better you did um, as the character you were playing, obviously the fans and stuff would talk, which is cool. We've got 1.4 million followers on our, on our social, which is crazy. Um, okay, let's go into the next chapter.